What's up everyone? My name is Marie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. So for today's video, I'm working on something very autumnal, which is very appropriate for this time of year. It is officially October, so spooky season, very much fall. And this is a pumpkin patch, which is not spooky <laughs> in any way, shape or form, but it does fit the uh, very autumnal vibes right now and I actually finished this build a few weeks ago. I meant to share this way sooner um, here on YouTube but then we had like the uh, unexpected stuff pack release and all that stuff in between so this one got pushed back a little bit um, but I'm finally sharing it at last and I had so much fun building this one. So um, it's a lot of back and forth with this one. I did build this over on stream which does make the speed build always a little bit more on the chaotic side because I'm like all over the place live as I'm building this. Um, so that makes the speed builds always a little bit more chaotic. And this one especially because I had no set plan for this at all. I just went into this blank space, this open lot, uh, blank canvas basically. This is in Henford on Bagley by the way. I built this on a 50 by 40 I believe this is. I At first I was going to go for the 64 by 64 but I was staring at the empty 64 by 64 and I was like, Yep, nope, we're not doing this. That was too big. That was way too intimidating and I was not ready for it. I was not going to settle for it. I was way too intimidated by the size of it. So I decided to go for a 50 by 40. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think that is the size that this is, but we will obviously check, uh, check it out um, in the game at the end of the speed build as well. Um, so we can uh, can check out what lot size this is and, and how expensive it is, even though it doesn't really matter because technically this is a community lot. You can use it as a residential because the little building that you can see, we have a barn in the front and then we have that like house structure in the back. Um, that's actually going to be a cafe, but then the second floor has a small apartment. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment for a sim to live. And I was definitely imagining a couple living in the apartment. Uh, they run the uh, the pumpkin patch and the cafe, stuff like that. Um, so that is very cozy. But I kind of wanted to give you multiple options as to like what you want to do with this specific lot. Like you could live here. Um, you could just set it as a cafe, which is what I think I would do personally because I feel like a cafe is very functional, like very usable in game. I love going to cafes when I'm playing the game. I think it's so much fun. Um, and yeah, you can just hang out at the cafe um, or you can just like browse around, like um, walk through the pumpkins. There is also an apple tree orchard actually. So we have the, uh, the barn on the left side of the build. You can see that I am at the moment, I'm working on this bridge structure, um, a bridge with a gazebo or pergola. I'm not exactly sure what you would call this kind of a situation, um, but I did a pond and I built a bridge over it, which I was very much inspired by my friend May, Honey May Sims. You might know her. She is also a uh, very, very, very talented builder and she is also active on Twitch and uh, YouTube as well. So you might know her. She was working on this big house and she made this structure like a bridge over a pond and I thought it was so cool and I was very inspired by it. So I actually did um, that same kind of idea. It's not the same thing, but it is very much inspired by her because she also did like a bridge and a gazebo um, attached to it. So I, uh, I was very inspired and I kind of just yoinked that idea and did the same because <laughs> um, I thought it was so, so pretty and I thought it would fit here nicely. Um, but then here you can see at the front of the barn, we have the uh, pumpkin patch situation. So this took me a long time. I think I actually cut out a little bit of footage too because this took me a long time. Just me browsing through debug, placing down all these pumpkins. All these pumpkins are from the um, cottage living debug menu. These are the oversized pumpkins that you can actually grow yourself on those gardening patches. And uh, I just got them out of the debug menu and placed them all around. So you can't actually harvest these. The thing with these pumpkins is that it does say that they are due to expire, I think in like six days. And I think then after like a week, they're supposed to go, uh, to go bad and go smelly. So that is very unfortunate, but maybe with cheats, you can actually 
um, maybe reset them or something. And then someone in my chat on stream when I was building this also told me that they had that same thing happen. Like it says that the uh, pumpkins are about to expire, but then they never did. So maybe they don't expire. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, that would be unfortunate, but we're just not going to think about that. Okay. It's fine. You can probably hopefully maybe reset them. And if not, then you can use this for about a week in your game <laughs> and then you'll have a field filled with smelly pumpkins, which is maybe also great for like spooky vibes. I'm not exactly sure um, how that is going to play out, but you know, that could be a vibe as well. But then here you can see I was going through and um, just placing all these beautiful debug items. I was placing some hay bales and just some other little knickknacks basically that I thought were fun. I talked about this on stream as I was building this. I am very much not familiar with pumpkin patches in real life. I live in the Netherlands and I feel like it's just not really a thing here or I'm just not aware of it. But in my experience, pumpkin, like this idea of a pumpkin patch to visit and hang out is very American. Maybe it isn't, but that's just what it is in my brain. Maybe my fellow European <laughs> friends here um, can confirm if they feel the same way about it. But yeah, especially here in the Netherlands, I feel like it's not really a thing. I, I did Google it later and I feel like we do have some like pumpkin farms that you can visit. Um, but I was really trying to make this like a pumpkin patch where you can, yes, you can go and harvest your pumpkins and seek out the pumpkins that you want to carve for the spooky season, but also you can just hang out here. There are some activities to do. Um, we have pumpkin carving in the barn as well. There is also a bar and a dance floor in the bar. We have a cafe here with a reading nook, so you can just kind of hang out here. You can do some uh, picnicking here as well. We have a bunch of picnic benches, and I also ended up placing a food store from the Seasons expansion pack, the fall themed food stall. I'm not exactly sure what they sell there, but probably like some, some apple cider or what have you. I'm not exactly sure, but um, I thought it looked really nice. So I placed that one as well. So you can just kind of like make it a day, just a day of like pumpkin patch and just like hanging out and going to the cafe. Um, I thought that would be so, so cute. I ideally, I wanted to, um, to place more play stuff for children. Like I wanted to do like a little playground, uh, but I should have gone with the 64 by 64 for that because I did not have the space for it on this lot at all. It actually filled up pretty quickly. As soon as I got the hang of it, as soon as I like got inspired and knew what I wanted to do, basically the lot filled up pretty quickly, which is a good thing in my opinion, um, because you know, it is a pretty spacious lot and uh, we need a lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of stuff here to basically fill it up and make it look all, uh, all nice and filled out. Um, but I do feel like I succeeded here in the back of the barn at the, on the other side, basically we have the apple tree orchard. I thought that was so much fun. Um, and I also placed some decorative pumpkins around. I did size up a couple of those already huge pumpkins. So these pumpkins are so big. They're massive. It's unreal <laughs> compared to Sims, but I thought maybe that was fun. Like maybe they're fake. Maybe they're just for decor decorative purposes. I'm not exactly sure, but here we have the, uh, the orchard, as you can see, and we have that beautiful bucket, uh, decorative item. That is a bucket filled with apples, but there is different swatches with different harvestables in it. I think there's also a bucket of potatoes and a bucket of onions. I feel like, and that is an item from one of the kits. I think it, it's from that very first kit that we ever got, or it is um, from the country living. Oh my goodness. What is the cottage living? <laughs> cottage living pack. It's either from that or it's from the country kitchen kit. We have so many packs. Like I keep saying this, but we have so many packs these days that I'm like forgetting the names or confusing the names. It is, uh, it's getting a little bit out of hand. Um, but one thing I also went crazy with in this, on this lot is these fairy lights that you can see. I placed a bunch of them around. I think these fairy lights originally came with the toddler stuff pack, but they are also in the high school years debug menu now. And I think they're actually also in the base game debug menu these days because they came with like that festival update that we got a couple years ago, or was it last year? I'm not exactly sure. Like it's, it's all a blur, <laughs> honestly, but I feel like these fairy lights have been showing up in multiple packs and also in the base game recently. 
Uh, so I used a bunch of those around because I think they're so pretty and they were so appropriate for, um, for this kind of a thing, for this lot. And then here for the entryway of this lot, I was not sure what to do with it for the longest time. So I just decided to uh, go crazy with some landscaping. There's a lot of landscaping around here because like I said, it's a big lot and I wanted to fill it up all the way. So uh, I especially went wild with the cottage living landscaping because that's just what looked the best on this lot. Also because we are building in Henford on Bagley. So naturally that sort of landscaping uh, just fits in nicely with the rest of the world, basically. That being said, this area where I'm building is very flat. There is not a whole lot of like foresty areas or trees around in general. So that makes it so that maybe this lot stands out a little bit because this lot just has a bunch of trees concentrated in this one tiny area that is this lot. So maybe compared to the rest of this, uh, of the surrounding area, it looks a little strange, but I didn't really care. Like I was going all for the vibes and I just really wanted these pretty fall colored trees. I was very much obsessed with the color of these trees and I was all, I was just going crazy with it because like I said, I did build this a few weeks ago. I think I built this halfway through September. So it's been a little bit and um, this is where I finally allowed my to actually go all out with the fall autumn themes and plans and colors uh, so yeah that's what I did for this one definitely and I also set my game to fall as you might be able to notice because of the colors of the trees and the slightly dead plants but for some reason I just I really love it when the plants look like this like the start of the fall season in the sims for me it, I feel like it's so pretty because the plants aren't all completely dead they're still like there they're still leaves they're still sort of green but also they're not as colorful anymore and then um there are these like beautiful colorful trees and i just think that that is such a beautiful contrast but here by the pond you can see i was going crazy with the landscaping and i was placing some duckies in the pond as well that unfortunately you can't see in um build mode but you will be able to see the ducks um, swimming around in live mode of course and then i created this little fishing deck kind of a situation over the pond as well i thought that was a cute little addition the little rounded um, what would you call that? Like the little rounded deck over the water. I thought that was really cute. And I placed some chairs here and I also placed a fish sign. This is one thing I actually didn't play test is if the fishing works in this pond, but I feel like it should. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, and the pond is pre-stocked, so there are some fish in there. So that is a fun activity for your Sims to do as well. And then that one item, the little green or teal colored um, little shop that I placed by the orchard here, is also an item from Cottage Living Debug. I think that is supposed to be the Crumple Bottoms uh, flower stall or whatever it is they're running. And I'm not sure if that is actually functional in the game, if you can actually hire someone on this lot specifically to actually run that stand. But I thought it was such a cute item, so I just placed it anyway. And then, like I already mentioned, we do have the food stand from Seasons that sells the fall appropriate um, goodies. And you can actually go in game and have your sim hire someone to uh, like hire a vendor basically for the stand. So that is some, something you can do as well. It does cost your sim a little bit of money, but I think it's only like a hundred simoleons and you could always cheat back the money. Like I don't, I don't think that should be that big of a deal. Um, but here you can see we are placing some more landscaping around, of course, because it took me a while <laughs> to do all this landscaping. It's a lot. There's a lot going on here. And um, I feel like I, I was I was able to fill it up pretty nicely. I used a lot of vines. I was going crazy with the vines. One thing the game kept doing was it kept deleting my exterior um, wisteria that I placed on this lot on the front of the house. For some reason, it kept deleting that as I was decorating the build on the inside. But um, eventually I just placed it back when I was done decorating. So there should be wisteria on the front of the house as well when you download this off the gallery. If, you, uh, if you're interested in that at all, that is, of course. Then in the back here, we didn't have that much space left, but I do have a little bit of a back porch here. So I decided to later on fill that up with some more tables and chairs as part of the cafe. And then for the rest, I just, uh, we have a staircase going, um, going down there as well. And then I just placed a bunch of picnic tables back here. So your sim 
victims can just hang out there and picnic and they can obviously bring like their own food. They can bring their own like sack lunches or whatever that they make at home. I thought that would be a really cute idea. And one thing I did do, I did do is I placed a bunch of pumpkins obviously around like a bunch of decorative pumpkins. And I also placed these leaf piles. But the unfortunate thing is that the leaf piles actually do go bad. Like those do go stinky. So as I was trying to take screenshots, all of a sudden I had all these green hues flying around, you know, like when something goes smelly in The Sims, when it turns green and it's all disgusting. Yeah, I had that happen because all those leaf piles actually decided to, <laughs> to go bad on me. So I had to go through and delete all those. It was very unfortunate because I really liked how they looked. Um, but yeah, sadly, that was a thing that was not going to cooperate with me. So I had to go through and delete all those, uh, all those stinky leaf piles, but oh well, it's fine. Then here I started to decorate the bridge, as you can see, and off of the bridge, we have this sunroom or gazebo or whatever you want to call it. I used the doors and windows from the greenhouse kit. And I feel like they look really, really good here because it's not actual glass. It's more of like, um, okay, well, I, I have no, I have no clue what to call that stuff. Like there's probably a word for it. It's not exactly glass. It's more like a, like a fabric kind of a thing. You probably know what I mean, but I really liked the idea of it not being glass, just like being an open space. But then there is a little bit of shelter there and it keeps the annoying bugs maybe <laughs> outside as well. And then here we have the inside of the barn. So I placed a dance floor in the middle of the barn. That was actually someone's uh, idea in chat as I was decorating this place. And I thought it was such a genius idea. I thought it'd be so fun. So I placed a dance floor in the middle and then there is a bar there as well. And then I also placed a whole lot of these crafting tables. And it's funny because I don't think I've ever used those crafting tables in the game as in gameplay, but also build wise, I don't think I've ever placed them anywhere because um, I don't know, to me, for me, I live in the Netherlands and Halloween is just not really a thing here. We talked about this a lot on stream as well. And it's so funny because for all of you living in the States and also probably maybe Canada, for you, it's like so normal to celebrate, to like grow up celebrating Halloween each year. But here, that is not a thing at all, which is such a fun difference. And um, over these past few years, it has become more of a bigger thing because I feel like everything that is a thing in um, in America slowly also becomes a thing here. I feel like like it all it always finds it finds its way over to Europe. I feel like, and the same goes for Halloween. So it's it's becoming. Like it's starting to become more of a thing here, but it's not really a thing yet. And especially when I was little, like it wasn't something we celebrated at all. Like it existed and we were aware of it, but like it's not really a thing you celebrated. So for me, I do have the spooky, um, like the Halloween stuff pack. I'm not, the spooky stuff pack, is that what it's called? I have that pack clearly, but I don't really actively use it because I don't know, Halloween is just not something that I decorate for. It's not something that pops into my brain immediately, if that makes sense. Um, so it's so fun to actually build something like this and use those types of things and the crafting table as well. And uh, I thought that was so fun, like the pumpkin carving table. Did I say pumpkin crafting table? I meant pumpkin carving. I'm not exactly sure if I said it right or wrong, but <laughs> it's fine. It's okay, you probably understand me. Um, and then here we have the inside of the cafe. And I feel like this turned out so, so cute. So I was really trying to go for a homey vibe. And one thing I wanted to include really badly was a reading nook or like a little book nook as well. So that is kind of the vibe that I was trying to go off of as far as the entire interior for this cafe. So yes, you can buy your coffee here, but for the rest, it just, it basically just feels like one big living room with a bunch of seating, if that makes sense. Because obviously we have some tables and chairs around as well, but then we have that like couch area with a big three seater green couch. And then we have a, uh, like a smaller, like um, love seat area with some benches as well. Uh, by the bookcases and I feel like it just, it turned out so cozy. This is exactly how I would decorate a regular living room for a build like this. Not with this amount of tables and chairs, obviously, but you kind of know what I mean. Like the, the vibe, the color scheme, the couch, the rug, the bookcases, like that is definitely something I would do. 
for a regular house. So that's basically the vibe that I was trying to go for in this uh, in this cafe, and I feel like I captured it nicely. I did use a whole bunch of packs. At first, I was very ambitious, and I was trying to go for like a limited pack sort of a thing, just use all the packs that seemed appropriate for this type of a theme, basically. Um, but that did not happen. I used a bunch of packs. I used all of them. So I'm so sorry about that. But I just had so much fun with this build that I, I couldn't help myself and I just kept going and um, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, so here in the middle of the cafe, you can see that we have the actual cafe portion. I thought that would make the most sense for like routing as well. I really wanted to make this look very cozy and filled in and cluttered, but at the same time, I wanted it to be playable. So I really try to keep some space around the place where your Sims would order their coffee. They usually what happens with cafes and gameplay is a bunch of Sims come in at the same time. They all like stand around very closely together by, um, by the barista by, because they want to order coffee at the same time. Um, so there's usually a whole bunch of sims in one little area. So I tried to keep it a little bit empty. You might want to delete the table with chairs that is uh, close by the uh, the order area, if that makes sense. So you could go through and get rid of that. I personally didn't really have a bunch of issues with it. Um, I thought it worked nicely. So it kind of depends on how many sims show up, I guess, in your gameplay. Um, but here in the cafe, we also have a little bathroom, of course. So I made an area with two bathroom stalls and then some separate sinks as well. So there's two bathrooms and I feel like that should be enough. Um, there is another bathroom, but that is the bathroom upstairs in the uh, cafe or not the cafe in the uh, apartment area, like on the second floor of the build. Um, so you probably don't want to have guests or visitors or clients or customers. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> you don't want to have customers go upstairs to your Sims apartment and use the bathroom, I feel like. Um, if you're using this as a residential, like, I don't really know. Like, you could kind of, like, pick and choose how you want to use this. But the apartment does have its own little front door leading into it on the ground floor. So I thought that was a lot of fun. This house where the cafe is has two front porches. One of them leads you into the cafe and then the other one leads you into this little hallway that is just, like, a messy, a little bit of a messy storage like entryway kind of a situation. And then we have a staircase going up to the second floor, which is this area up here. And this is a small um, apartment. It's actually not the tiniest apartment ever. I felt that we had quite a bit of space here to work with, but it's definitely only one, um, one bedroom, one bathroom, and it does have a double bed. So you could have a couple sleep in this or live in this apartment if you wanted to. Um, you could also very easily turn this like into a farm. I feel like I'm not like Obviously you could just download this <laughs> and Renovate the whole thing if you wanted to because this house would be a very nice spacious Generations family farmhouse you could very easily turn it into something like that and then you could delete all the pumpkins and like um, Actively do farming with your sims on this lot I feel like that would be a lot of fun with the orchard as well It's actually pretty usable and then there's a barn where you could have animals You could put some horse stables in there if you wanted to like that is definitely possible So yes, this build is very autumnal But if you are a bit of a builder or renovator yourself, I feel like you could very easily download this turn it into a um into a farmhouse and just like have it for your everyday like regular family gameplay. I feel like that would work really nicely. But here I also went crazy with the autumnal color scheme. I am obsessed with a combination of these um, countertops from the Parenthood pack. I love this orangey brown countertop, like terrazzo kind of a countertop situation combined with these dark green appliances. Tell me that that's not a stunning color combination. I feel like that looks so pretty and it just goes so well with the entire theme of this apartment. And I was also obsessing over the green tiles. I'm using those green tiles in the bathroom and also as a backsplash in the kitchen, those green tiles come with the um, parenthood pack as well. And because of the green appliances, I was very, very inspired to use this green swatch of the rocking chair, which is a rocking chair from the horse ranch pack. And I love that green color. I have been obsessed with that green color 
Ever since the Horse Ranch pack was released, green is my favorite color, so I might be a little bit biased, but there's obviously a bunch of different shades of green, but this dark, rich, dark green is so extremely pretty, so I used it for the, um, for the rocking chair in here, and then also I really wanted to use it for the chair by the desk, but I ended up not doing that because um, that was just a little bit much. Like that, that was too much green and it was too matchy matchy. So I decided to go for one of those more um, like orangey wood tone chairs and I thought that was really pretty. And then here I did something that I thought was really fun. I, um, I actually used these bookcases on the side of the kitchen to make it feel like it was basically still part of the kitchen or makes it like, it kind of closes it off from the rest of the room. It kind of divides the space, if that makes sense. Not really, but sort of. Maybe you understand what I'm getting at. I feel like that was kind of nice. Next to the tall kitchen cabinet as well, it kind of feels like it's still part of that same structure. And the only thing that kind of gives it away is that the, obviously the bookcase doesn't come in the exact same wood tone. So that kind of messes it up, but it's okay. Like it still looks pretty. And then here we have the, uh, the two, um, or like the bedroom, the double bed bedroom, basically that you can have your Sims sleep in. This is very small, but it is all functional. I did play test the bed and it should be all functional. It should be all fine. It's just very, very small in here, very cramped, but we do have space for a double bed and then obviously some decorations. And this skinny small dresser from the Horse Ranch pack is actually a lifesaver. It's so small and it's still a functional wardrobe with the beautiful mirror on the door. I don't think the mirror is functional actually, but that's okay. We have multiple mirrors in this apartment, so I feel like that should be fine. Um, but it's such a lifesaver because it saves so much space. It's so small. It's literally just one tile. It's so it's so skinny and tall. So it still looks like you have a little bit of storage space in there. So that was actually a really nice item to use. And then up here, we also have a bathroom and this bathroom is actually quite spacious for it being a small apartment. Um, I thought this was a nice, uh, a nice size uh, bathroom. We have a shower tub combo in here. So that was also nice because if you do want your Sims to be living here and you want them to have a dog, for example, I didn't include any dog stuff, but there is a tub for you to bathe your dog. So I feel like that would actually be um, a really nice, uh, nice thing to have and not have to, uh, renovate it or place or like find a space for a tub. But that's basically it. So let's jump into the game and I'll quickly give you a tour of the lot in the game. So here we have the pumpkin patch in the game. I feel like it looks very cozy and inviting. I will quickly unpause the game so you can see that we have some ducks swimming around here, which is so cute. I have it set as a residential right now, which is why there's no customers. There's some more duckies swimming around here. Oh, I just feel like it's so cozy and inviting. So over here on this side, obviously we have the entrance here. And then over here we have the pumpkin patch area. I have no clue if this looks realistic at all, but it looks cute in The Sims. So I decided to just go for it. We have a bunch of these fairy lights. I feel like it'd be so fun for gameplay to just go here and take cute screenshots of your Sims in the pumpkin patch, do some posing with your Sims if that is something you're into. But here, as you can see, it does say that this pumpkin is going to go bad in about five days, five hours and 49 minutes. So I have no clue if that is actually true or not, but I guess that is fun to find out. And then on the other side of the barn here, we have the apple tree orchard. There's actually apples on the trees now. So that's a lot of fun. I feel like that looks really cute. So you could go through here and do some apple picking. There is a bunch of picnic tables back here as well. And then obviously over here, we have the inside of the barn. So so we have a dance floor in the middle and also some music over here in the corner. There is a bar here. If you want your Sims to uh, order some nectar, then they can do that here. And on the other side here is a bunch of carving tables. So you can have your Sims do some pumpkin carving. And one thing we thought was fun um, when I was building this over on stream is we have a sneaky ladder going up here to a closet that is obviously just for hanging your coat and not for your Sims to woohoo. So there is that as well. And then over here on the other side, we have the pond with the bridge and the gazebo. So your Sims can just like stroll around here over the bridge, hang out on the benches, enjoy the view, or they can do some activities here in this little area. So we have a bunch of chess tables here, some decorations, and then also some, uh, some easels for painting. Over here is a little fishing deck 
deck or fishing area. I think this is all functional as well, so that should be nice. This pond is pre-stocked with fish. Then over here in the back, of course, we have the cafe. So we have this front porch leading you to this uh, to this cozy spot where you can sit. You could sit out here and have your coffee if you wanted to and enjoy the view over the pond, or you could go inside and hang out here. So this looks very homey. It just looks like a warm, cozy living room space, basically. You can go here and order your coffee and your pastry and just like hang out somewhere. Over here is a little book nook area where you can hang out and read a book, of course. A more private little table here in the back as well because I had some space. And then, of course, we have a bathroom in here as well. So, we, so there is just uh, two sinks there and a couple bathrooms. And then there is a sneaky back door over here with a back porch. So there is even more seating over here in the back. Then over on this side here is the entrance into the apartment. Over here is a nice entryway space with a bunch of clutter and storage, of course. And then there is a staircase leading you into the apartment. So it's this beautiful like open staircase kind of a situation. And we have this, uh, this little hallway with some more clutter and storage. And it kind of leads you straight into the kitchen and living room. So over here is the kitchen. I'm loving the colors. I'm going to keep saying it because it's just so much fun. We have a little desk with a computer in the back here. And of course, there is a cozy living room space with a fireplace because that is just so cozy and totally fits the vibes. We have no chimney, but it's fine. No one comment on that. Okay, it's fine. We can all pretend. And then over here is a bedroom. So this is a double bed bedroom where you can have a couple sleep and they have some storage for clothes and stuff back here. And then across from the bedroom is the bathroom, which is actually nice and spacious. So we have a shower tub combo in here and then just your, uh, your classic sink and bathroom or toilet, I should say. So this is all functional for your Sims as well. That is basically it for this build. So this pumpkin patch is up on the gallery. I built it on a 50 by 40 in the world of Henford on Bagley. It's a residential on the gallery, but you could obviously set it as a cafe. It works as a cafe as well, or it works as a general community lot. I think that's the term for it. And it comes in at just over 116,000 simoleons. So it's very expensive if you want to use it as a residential, but it makes sense because uh, this thing is huge. But yeah, if you want to place it in your game, it goes on a 50 by 40 in the world of Henford on Bagley. But that's going to do it for today's video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this one. You can obviously go ahead and download this build off the gallery. Like I just showed you, Marie's name on the gallery is Simmery Sims. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok if you'd like. Marie's name on there is Simmery Sims as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. And if you want to be notified of every single time I upload a video, just click that little bell icon and you should be fine. I also live stream over on Twitch a few times a week. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and give me a follow over on twitch.tv forward slash Simmery Sims. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.